this video, I am going to show you how to link pages together, how to set up links on your site and the full functionality of hyperlinking on your website. Now, before we get into that, the one thing I want to say is, especially if you're linking content on your website, you want to make sure let's go right now. I'm logged in. I go to pages here. You want to make sure that these pages, I haven't done this yet. So you want to make sure that these pages, the URL slugs are relevant to the page. The reason this is important, some people, when they design, they're designing their contact page halfway through they decide it's going to be their about page or something like that. And they change the name of the page. So they may change this to about, but they don't change and they may change this, but they don't change the URL slug. The URL slug is one of the most important things. And there's a few things we want to consider here. I'm not going to go into full depth, but just a clear understanding is if it's a contact page, you want it to say contact. If it's about, you want it to say about. So in this case, I would change this to about and then click save. So this is our about page. Then for events, what you want to avoid is this like events one. Don't know why that's there. We'd probably want to have it like this and then hit save. Similarly, you could do this for the blog. So you could click on the settings here, make sure that everything's the best. You can see here, this is not. So I would change this to blog and then be good to go. It's really important to know for a page, everything outside of a page, let's say for events, blog, portfolio, and shop. The main URL is really important to set up the first time around so that you are going to build everything on top of that. Let's take a look at why this is important. So right now the blog is called blog. So if I click on this blog post, the URL for it, let me go to settings. You'll see if I go to options, look at how the URL gets set up. It gets set up by first being forward slash blog and then whatever the blog title is. So here's article one name, for example, right? Whatever the name is. So if we change blog to articles, it's going to change all of the blog posts within the entire platform. So you don't want to make that change out of the blue, but you do want to make sure that they're set up correctly. Now, once that's good to go, let me go to another sample site I have here. Let's say we have this footer. It's beautiful. It's laid out well. You could add some stuff, play with it. But for the most part, none of these are buttons right now. So let's start making these buttons. So the first thing I'm going to do is click edit. Once I'm on the site, because it's the footer, I have to hover over it and click edit footer. And then let's go into this. So the first thing is, I'm going to highlight about and you could click this little chain here to link or you could hit command K. So it brings this up. Now, this is a newer feature on Squarespace, which I'm so happy they finally did. But if you do forward slash, it'll start to show you all your pages. So let's just say I don't have pages for all of these. I'm going to do the, the products. So once that's done, bear in mind, you want to hit apply. So this is the way you link a page. Let's just be clear about that and take a step back. Actually, you don't have to put your domain.com forward slash. If it's on your site, the only thing you need to add is everything with the forward slash and beyond. So as long as you have forward slash products, you're good to go. If I click out of that, click that, I have to hit apply. This is a little bit annoying, but you have to hit apply. If you just click out of it, it's not going to work. So if I hit apply, you'll see now it is a link. So if I hover over it, there is a link there. If you're doing this for a separate website, say you're, you're linking to a separate website, for example, command K, you could add the website here, other website domain.com. But there's one note I would make if you want to link it to a separate page. Well, this little gear wheel hides a lot of valuable tools inside of it. Let me zoom all the way out and click on this little wheel. Look, there's a bunch of useful tools here. You could link web addresses, you could link pages within your site, you can link emails, phone number, or you can link an email, a phone, so it calls or a file. Now you'll see here that the web address is linked. This is what we could change and adjust and play with. But when it's a separate website, typical recommendation is that you open it in a new tab. So the only way to do that is if you click into this settings wheel, then do that, then hit save, then hit apply. There's a few things here that are just a bit annoying. So if I go through this process and I say other website.com and then click here and click there, if I hit save, but I don't hit apply and I click out of it, it goes away. It's a little bit frustrating, but you just go through that process for each one. Command K, add it. So home and actually a trick for home. Let me show you a trick for home. So meet the team. You could do this for anything, for any type of link. Command K. If you just do forward slash, that takes you to home. So if you hit apply, it's a link that will take you to home. And then from there, you could keep going. Now, we were looking at blog posts earlier, and these are two separate websites. But if I go back here and I look at this URL and I go to options, and I take a look here, right? So remember, we're just working off the forward slash. So for a specific blog post, it would be these two things together. So I'm just going to copy that. And here I would hit command K. It's highlighted. Service one is highlighted. I would type forward slash blog. 
and then forward slash, and then paste the name of the blog in there. So if it's on a blog post, if it's a product in your store, anything that is an item within a collection, an item with a collection, right? So if we go back here, and let me zoom out of this. All of these events, blogs, portfolio shops, those are collections. You want to link two levels. So you need to link the collection and the item within the collection. Okay, I'll hit apply. Good to go. You could keep going and going and getting all of them linked. And then when you're done, click save. And then once you do that, now what you can do is you could test it out. So you could go to about. What we linked for about, this is a little confusing. So I apologize about that. What we linked for about is products. So if I click on this, it should take me to the products page, which you can see here it has. So really well put together. And in the future, it's really easy to manage. All you have to do is remember the basics of the URL slugs that you use, especially for key pages, forward slash about, forward slash contact, forward slash blog, forward slash articles, forward slash services, forward slash products. Any of those things makes it really easy for you to understand what the URLs are and build pages out accordingly on your site. Hey, congrats. You made it to the end of this Squarespace training. If you got value from this video, you will definitely get value from some of the resources that we've created. Please go to spacebaragency.com forward slash resources. The link will be down below in the description. And there we have a ton of eBooks, PDFs, and resources for you, for your website, for SEO, to help you grow your business. And just a quick disclaimer, most of the resources they're free. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you hit the like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some very important information, but it also tells me that you got value from this video. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.